Hey guys, it's Michael here with another Carl Paint Shop Pro tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create some realistic looking six pack abs using Paint Shop Pro. So this is the end result of what I'll be showing you. So this is the after, as you can see some nice abs here. And with, this is before, without the abs. Of course, this model is not a very muscular one. So the ab effect will be a very subtle one, so just so that it doesn't look too, too um, unreal based on her overall body structure. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to delete this one. So, so to do this, we're going to use our shape tool. So our rectangular shapes. And we're going to create six, six rectangles which will ultimately become her abs so we want it to have rounded edges like mine here um to do this you can simply with with the with the rectangle tool rectangle tool selected you go into the edit mode that's at the top right here and click this and then you can drag the corners to create the kind of edging that you'd like so abs are usually um, rounded at the corner corners all right great so what we're going to now do we're going to create um, duplicates of this so duplicate and drag this to the left create another duplicate drag this down move it up a bit duplicate again drag it to the right could also use the arrow keys another duplicate so I'm using the mouse wheel to scroll outwards and then duplicate again and drag this to the right so now I'm just going to use the the arrow keys to position the rectangles all right great so what we're going to do now we're going to um merge the bot the last two abs so merge down so now we have the last two abs. Why I did this? Because we're going to make some special changes to those. So we're going to make these a little bit longer. And we're going to flatten, well, rasterize this one, this layer. Just so that we can gain access to our perspective tool. So we're going to bring in the base. So with the pick tool optimal mode perspective we're going to make the base of it a little bit narrow okay great so what I'm going to also do I'm going to merge all the ab layers so merge selected merge these two as well selected and keep missing keep missing our apps merge selected all right there we have all of them so we're going to scale it to match the size of the model or the abdomen of the model rotate it and then could rotate it somewhere all right great so what we're going to now do we're going to um, use the perspective tool again just to bring in the top so make the top a little bit narrow okay great so the, our next step now is to go up to adjust blur and we're going to add before we do that, we're going to duplicate it. Turn off this one. So go up to adjust, 
blur gaussian blur i made a duplicate of it just in case um, we want to revert back to the original file if we make a mistake all right so we blurred it out all right great okay hit okay so what we're going to now do we're going to right click go into properties and then we're going to mess around with the drop shadows and the bevels until we get the kind of look that we want in this image you'll notice that the left side of the model is left our left to our left um is is brighter than the right so this suggests that the more of the light is coming from the left so we're going to go down to drop shadow tick it and ensure that our light source is to the left so that it casts a shadow to the right so we're bringing in this a little bit close all right this looks good we're going to reduce the size of the shadow also reduce the opacity of the shadow we're going to also change the color of the shadow shadow sorry from black to a shade that matches the shadows on her skin so we're going to select this dark area here okay great now we're going to go to our bevels tick the bevels and we're going to also make ensure that the the light source is coming from the left we're going to reduce the size of the bevel or perhaps increase the size of the bevel reduce the opacity okay great now we're going to go over to our blend blend rage sorry and then we're so we're going to adjust the layer and the underlying layer so the layer represents the the squares that's a white section and the underlying layer represents the effects that we have added so when we change the layer so i'm clicking the top triangle to the right and bringing in bringing this towards the center this makes the layer original layer um invisible or changes the the visibility of it so i'm going to also do the same but from the right for the underlying layer but from the left sorry for the underlying layer so here we starting to see the the abs blending in to the skin of the model so we're going to bring this in some more maybe reduce this all right so a lot of this is just um trial and error until we get the effect that we want and of course depending on the model that you're using uh, the image that you're editing you will make the adjustments accordingly all right so for now we're going to hit ok um, if you notice let me zoom in you'll see some highlights here that um, is taking away from the the realism of this effect so what we're going to do we're going to go up to we're going to change the blend mode of the layer itself so with the ab layer selected we go up to mode and we're going to change it to multiply and now we're starting to see the effect being added in a more realistic manner it looks as if her skin is popping off to, to create the the effect of having abs so we're going to also reduce the visibility of it and right away we're getting abs so bring down the visibility so i'm using the mouse wheel to scroll okay great so i'm going to also erase parts of it but um parts of some sections of it to to tone down the effect so i'm going to use a layer mask go up to show all and then paint paint black on the layers that i want to erase if i want to re 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 add them it's just a matter of painting white so select black i'm going to paint this section here 
the center make it a little bit more toned down great right here ensure that no abs are on her underwear okay great just making the effect a little bit more subtle okay so as you can see we have realistic looking abs here so this is the before the abs and this is the after great thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos and feel free to comment below and tell us what you think and what tutorials you would want us to create next peace out